I got a new product for you. M3 flasher made by Markham in the lithium shuttle. So the reason I went with this is for the shuttle. Plus I have VIP Rapala pricing. Don't ask. All right, let's get into it. This is all being recorded on my iPhone 11 Pro. So bear with me. I've already opened this once because there's no way to do it on camera. So what does it come with? Comes with the charger. All right, let me just show you what that is. It's actually a brick charger. Um, pumps out three amps right there three amps what else it's got the shuttle documentation manual for the m3 i, I was deciding between the m1 and m3 and i just like the zoom feature and you're able to go up and down the water column that was the single biggest reason all right, <clears throat> the shuttle itself, nothing else in here other than some grass. Okay, so here's the shuttle. Why did I go with this? Let me get to 1x zoom versus wide zoom. M3, um, let's just turn it on for a second before we get on. All right. It's on you can see we will see that it reads 97 and we'll fire it up pretty simple design one thing I like about Markham's trust me I already have a Vexilar I'll roll that in a little bit later is I love this arm system it's so damn ingenious and before we get into the I just want to show you on an LED there's two 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 rocking switches so it goes from off on to led on and it's bright and as a result that also clicks on the usb this bracket is made of seems like brushed aluminum really high quality quarter 20 um i believe these are just tension bolts i don't know what they're exactly called thumb screws Quarter 20 right there. You have three of them. One right there, and then one off to the side. Lots of little things you can attach to it. Whoops. And on the rear. So I ha I emailed Markham. They're sending me a new one. There's just this weird paint crap on it. I don't know what's going on. But some of the most innovative designs, again, this was very well thought out was the upside down transducer. A nine out of 10 times if it's cold and you leave your transducer outside, it will freeze if it's the other way around. Plus this prevents it from rattling, which is pretty ingenious in itself. Just pop that down and up and boom, you got yourself a transducer. I won't knock it down. And then another cool feature about this is you loosen these up on both sides. And you can actually make it go up and down based on how tall you want. So it's kind of neat. Very innovative. What else? The arm, once again, it allows you to fish. Um, if I can get it. this is all one-handed operation, which makes it that much more challenging. It just sits down just like that. Pretty cool. You just lift and pick it up. I'm not going to go into the details of the. M3 features other than I bought the M3 over the M1 because of the zoom, you can move it up and down. I think that alone is pretty well worth it. The plug-in for this goes right here. So that's kind of neat. So that's kind of the M3. 
lithium shuttle in a nutcase, uh, in a nutcase, in a nutshell. I'll roll in some weight comparisons compared to the FL28 um, Pro Pack versus the shuttle, and you'll see the huge difference in weight. Okay, it's on a scale, 12 pound scale, we're reading what, five, nine, eight pounds. I just wanna show you the weight difference between old school and new school. And I'll show you, that's the reason why I bought this. Okay, everyone knows the FL X28. So I have a couple additions to it, nothing too material in terms of weight, but I have a little PVC cup with a little um, UV light. I have another side light here. No, that's the UV light that I have somewhere switched, I don't know where. For lighting, there we go. And that's it, and I think this is a nine, yeah, nine amp hour battery, uh, this is a show. So it's gonna be pretty heavy. This shuttle has a 12 amp hour lithium battery, and that's where the, <laughs> the weight difference will show here. I'll put it backwards, because I think this thing is rear heavy. Nine, eight, eight, Nine eight eight. We'll say nine eight eight. Okay, let's just do a quick sound test. Pretty quiet. Here is the Vexilar FLX twenty eight. Holy cow. This is what I wanted to see. That it has an O-ring around the bottom base. I still probably wouldn't trust leaving this on water, standing water. Because, um, look at that. All the components right at the bottom. Not much room from... The bottom of the base to all these wirings you'd fry a lot of stuff if you're not careful at least that's what i think just wanted to take a peek at the design of this battery and how it's wired here's the gromlet it's all night nice and neatly zip tied it's got a nice led here's a little toggle switch Charging port. Overall, pretty well designed. Pretty hefty lithium ion battery. All right, so this rubber gasket I do trust, but not to the point where I trust it fully. So I'm gonna take a little grease. This is dielectric grease. You can probably use any kind of grease. So something like that. Grease all around the entire gasket. So am I brand loyal? No. Am I innovation loyal? Yes. That's why I have the shuttle. So my plan right now is to think take the FL28 and swap it to the shuttle take this M3 and put it over with the Gens box um, and I think that'll be the best blend of both worlds and then the hummingbird I think I'm gonna sell I haven't used it it's not that amazing um, compared to the flagships well that isn't a flagship but flagships that I'm used to using so that's kind of the gist, and I'll walk you along the process.
Thank you.